Hey guys, Joshua Gillespie here. Um, I have a quick explanation. During this JGLP, it may appear that the uh, the game is kind of jittery and slowing down at some points. It's actually not frames dropped, surprisingly, because I did another test. Um, it was the game. It was just slowing down on its own. And at several points in the video, I say things like, Oh man, I can't believe it, how good this game looks on my computer. It looks better than it does in this video. The reason it looks so bad is my capture software sucks. I need to get some something better. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoy this impromptu episode of JGLP. Here we go. It's time for another JGLP. What's gonna happen? Just watch and see. Bum. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Joshua Gillespie here for JGLP. Now, today we're taking a look at the game Hydro Thunder Hurricane. Not for the Xbox 360, but for the PC. It's available on Windows 8. It's one of my favorite racing games, and I recently talked about it in my top 10 favorite summer themed games. Um, so, I was just going to play a little bit of it. I had another video planned for today, but unfortunately I had to pull it, well not pull it, but I had to, uh, I had to keep it back for various reasons. So I'm going to play this instead. We're just going to do a couple races. If you've never heard of Hydro Thunder, um, it's a boat racing game, which is different, you know, it's not cars, and it's got boosts which are always fun. Um, I'm surprised at just how good this game looks on my computer. So, this is one of my favorite racing games as well. And so, I know a lot of the little secrets and things. So, you might learn something from watching this. If you watched my video about, my little piece about it, um, I said I first saw this game at SGC, Screw Attack Gaming Convention, in 2010. Um, I had only heard of the original game. I I played a little bit of it on the Dreamcast. Um, but had I didn't know much about the series. So at first I was a little... I wasn't as interested in it. But then watching people play it, which actually included Peanut Butter Gamer, I guess before he became, I guess it was, yeah, before he became super famous. Um, so I saw him there playing it, and it really boosted my interest in this game, and I bought it the day it came out. And I'm glad I did, because I love it. One thing I love that's not available actually in this PC version is um, being able to go into first person perspective. Um, it really adds more, I guess, realism, as realistic as this game can get. But I do miss it. And can I make it? I made it. Yeah. Let's go. Four, three. Can I make it? Can I make it? I'm not gonna... I made it! First place! And there's a little package there that I could... Or whatever they call it. That I could have gotten. Oh well. That was a good race. And I got a new boat. Alright, let's... Let's move on to the second race. Uh, I like this one. Also, I usually don't play with the uh, audio or the music on. I prefer to have it quiet, but I turned it on just for this, you know. So there's at least some sound in the background. That's one problem with doing these Let's Plays is my recording software can't record two things at once. It can't record the microphone and the source, which sucks. So... Sometimes the audio from the game sounds good. Sometimes it sounds bad. This one, I'm not so sure of. So if I get louder, 
and quieter in some parts, that's because the game is getting louder and I don't want to be outdone by the whoa, holy crap. So yeah, if you've never played this game, uh, I don't know how ex how much it costs on the PC, um, but Xbox it should probably be maybe fifteen dollars at the most. But yeah, we I saw this game and um, Sonic the Hedgehog Four Episode One, which I mentioned actually in one of my first JG reviews, which was the Sonic Month finale. I think it was Part Two. I talked about that. It was very neat. Well, ah, boat exploded. So where's the? There's the reset button. I don't. I'm not too confident in this race. This controller I'm using has buttons in different locations. So, like the start and select aren't next to the jewel in the middle. They're underneath the the first or the left. Uh, controller stick so it's kind of similar kind of reversed I guess of the original Xbox controller which people either love or hate um, I didn't like the Duke as it's called but I liked the the other one the more the later one they released I guess yeah I didn't do too well in this race but eh I blame all of you. I'm trying to entertain you folks while playing a game. Ah, fourth place. That's... Bad. <laughs> I didn't get any points for that. Okay, well, let's not... Let's just move on. I'll just do novice. Easy mode. Which boat should I take? I'll take... There's a little thing where when it says go, go, go the first time if you... Nope. I didn't get it that time, but if you do it right as he says go, um, you get a little bit of a boost. I used to play this game so much. Like, that's how I would just spend my nights, just playing the same races over and over again. Um, like I said, I wouldn't have the music on, but I would, like, listen to stuff on my iPod, and that just soothed me. It was a relaxing game for me, and it still is. It's strange, this chaotic boat racing game was very relaxing for me. I also like the variety in the levels. Like they are each of them is different and has a unique feel to it. Like this one is actually just is three laps. It's not one big course. Ah. Oh. Here's my little shortcut. Yeah, there's no way to change the point of view. I even looked in the control section and there was nothing mentioned. Seems to be having a lot of slowdown, which is odd. But see, now the second time we do this, right, this track, we go a different way. But I highly recommend this game. If you like racing games, if you like just crazy, silly games, if you want something to play with your friends, this is definitely up there. And the downside is when you play this game and then go back and play the original Hydro, Hunt, Hydro Thunder, you see all of its problems. Like Hydro Thunder is such a slow loading game. I bet it wasn't in the arcade. But playing the Dreamcast and ports of that, man, it's it's a disaster. Whoa! Oh, I survived. I did. 
kind of go 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 I'm not gonna make this into a series don't worry I'm not gonna make a series out of playing this whole game that would just be ridiculous and pointless okay so for this final one I hope you've enjoyed this and if there are any other just random games you would like to see me play please as always put those in the comments I just chose to play this because it was something I had access to and I wanted to have a video done for today like I said something came up with the other video and I will explain it later but I'm Joshua Gillespie and this has been JGLP thank you for watching